The PBOC has started share buybacks for listed firms, a move to boost capital markets as part of a broad stimulus package. The news came as fresh data showed that e China's economic expansion slowed in the third quarter. Uh, Chief North Asia correspondent Stephen Engel joins us now. Maybe let's just start with the data that we've got out of China uh, in the last few hours. Uh, GDP coming in at 4.6 percent, slightly higher than the markets had penciled in. Uh, industrial, industrial production also surprising to the upside. Retail sales surprising to the upside. Does this yeah. indicate that perhaps China's data has bottomed? Yes, uh, that does indicate that. It does not necessarily indicate that this is a recovery in the making. There's still a long way to go on the fundamentals and also kind of removing some of that scar tissue that many uh, consumers still have, especially those who bought property. Property had some, uh, you know, slightly, slightly improved monthly numbers, but nothing to suggest any kind of V-shaped recovery. Despite all the stimulus and the moves by the housing officials and the finance ministry and then the PBOC, as you mentioned as well, uh, they've been talking a good game, trying to put a floor on this economy, and they might have done that. Uh, the third quarter was 4.6% GDP growth, better than the consensus estimate, barely, though 4.5 was the consensus estimate. But keep in mind that is still the worst set of numbers, growth number, 4.6% in six quarters. You have to go back to the first quarter of last year, 2023, that also had 4.5% growth. So there's still a long ways to go. But it is encouraging to see retail sales uh, pick up considerably. Bloomberg Economics expected 1.7% growth in September. We got more than 3%. So that is good. And this is also pre-stimulus numbers. The third quarter obviously ended at the end of September. The stimulus started coming in late September and early October. So there are encouraging signs for sure. And there's no doubt there's more expectations perhaps of fiscal stimulus a number uh, that the markets can latch yeah. on to. Yeah, and it, it really appears to be the case of a full court press here because it's not just a fiscal stimulus, uh, but several measures out of the PBOC as well, a new one this morning, uh, with a plan to start uh, a facility for share buybacks. So how should we read that announcement? Yeah, I think this is just another sign that authorities want to maintain momentum. If you look at the stock markets in particular, the CSI 300 had that big run-up, sharp run-up on the heels, of course, of the stimulus. But the CSI 300 is down 10% since that peak uh, on October 8th. Uh, so some of that enthusiasm has petered out. The PBOC coming in and essentially uh, launching a specialized relending facility to allow major public companies companies as well as major shareholders uh, to essentially, uh, you know, facilitate, borrow from the central bank at favorable rates to buy back shares as a confidence boosting measure. Uh, now, though, the PBOC said it's up to the banks uh, to lend that money and to take on the risk as well. And the question is, right. will those major investors and shareholders and listed companies take the PBOC's offer? Are they confident enough?